You know, we know TDOT and NDOT used salt to help with driving conditions during the back to back winter storms last week. But now that everything is melting, that salt is being washed away too. Our first alert meteorologist, Cruz Medina, is live here in studio. Cruz, question where does all that salt go and what other problems end up coming with the use of salt? Well, Tracy, we know that that road salt can be helpful to a certain extent. It certainly has limitations as well, like being less effective once the temperature drops below a certain point, and we definitely saw that last week. But have you ever thought about the negative effects of using road salt? The United States uses more than 20 million tons of road salt each year. That salt can have negative effects on the environment and your property. The salt encourages rust formation on metal surfaces, which damages things like your car and railroad tracks. More importantly, salt can have major effects on the environment. It is typically washed away by melting snow and ice runoff or rainfall, both of which carry that salt into local waterways. According to the EPA, one teaspoon of road salt can pollute five gallons of water. This obviously can have detrimental effects on aquatic ecosystems, poisoning plants, and even killing species of fish. It also raises the salinity of water, which can lead to toxic algae blooms. Now, road salt can also pollute drinking water. So as the salty water ends up in drains and underground pipes, the salt begins to corrode those pipes. Corroded elements like lead can end up in water resources that flow directly into homes and businesses. Tracy? I think that's pretty scary for a whole it, lot of people. It's so certainly I guess, something to keep in mind. Yeah, the next step is figuring out, yeah, what can we really do about it? Thank you so much, Cruz.